So if I was going to find the coterminal angles for this, a lot of people, what they say is, well, we just add and subtract 2 pi, right? Just add, subtract 2 pi. That's always going to give you your coterminal angles. Well, yes, adding, subtracting 2 pi will always give you two angles, but that's not always going to be able to give you, um, that's not always, always going to give you the angles that exactly we're looking for. And here's what I'm, because that's not always going to give you the, sm the smallest positive and the largest negative. So let's go and take a look at that. Let's subtract 2 pi. Negative pi over 4 minus 2 pi, right? So we convert this over to 1. Multiply by my denominator. So I have 4 over 4, right? So therefore, that equals negative 9 pi over 4 minus 8 pi. Or sorry, minus 8 pi over 4. Why am I subtracting? I don't want to subtract. Let's add. I don't know why I'm subtracting. You're going to want to add. Let's add 2 pi before we subtract. So if I add 2 pi, I get negative pi over 4. Right? Negative pi over 4. Well, that's another negative answer, right? So that's a coterminal angle, JJ, that you're going to want to use. So now remember what you need to have is a negative and the largest negative. Is negative pi over 4 larger than negative 9? Ne negative 9 pi over, oh, I'm sorry. Is it larger than negative 9 pi over 4? Yeah. yeah, right? Remember negatives, you want to have the smaller value closer to 0, right? So it's larger in value. So therefore, you're not going to want to subtract. Because if you have a negative number and you subtract another negative number, is that going to give you a larger or a smaller value? Smaller value, right? So in this case, when I add it to pi, that just gives me a larger negative value. So I'm just going to want to keep that. That's it. Then if I add, if I take this and I add 2 pi again to it, so negative 2 pi over 4 plus 2 pi, then I'd multiply this again by um, 4 over 4. That's going to give me now negative pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4, which equals 7 pi over 4. So therefore now, I, that's the smallest positive angle. And that's the largest negative. Tatiana, question? So you do that for every problem? Well, notice on the last problem, I had to add and subtract, right? This one, I just had to add it twice. And let me, let me explain why that makes sense. Let's look at what this angle looks like. Negative 9 pi over 4, going in the negative direction. So if I broke this up into force, so my angle looks like this, negative 1 pi, negative 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, negative 9 pi over 4. It's over a revolution of a circle, right? But ladies and gentlemen, remember, all a coterminal angle says, it has to start here and it has to end here. So what's the smallest angle or the largest negative angle I can do? I can just say this, right? That is an angle in the negative direction. So to get to that thing, all I had to do was add 2 pi. Because ladies and gentlemen, if you subtract another 2 pi, what are you doing? If I subtract another 2 pi, all I'm doing is I'm continuing this around. Right? You don't want to, you can, we don't want to do that. We want to find the largest all right, in value, or the smallest of the, in the angle measure of these, uh, the smallest in angle measure of that. So I just say, oh. Just add 2 pi to that angle, and it just gives me negative pi over 4, which is right there. And then if I take that again, if I take negative pi over 4 and I add 2 pi again, that now gives me this angle. Which is 7 pi over 4. So this angle is 7 pi over 4. That's the, that's the smallest positive, and this is the smallest in measure negative. OK? So it's the smallest in measure negative. Cool? Questions? Okay. Want me to do 17? OK. So 